Whether you're looking to shoot a YouTube short or a feature film, the perfect video cameras will help take your movie-making skills to the next level. And we're here to help you find the right one for you. Based on countless hours of testing, we've ranked all the finest ones around in our regularly updated guide below. So whatever your shooting genre, you should find your ideal video camera reviewed and rated below. Fujifilm X-T4 Apps see sensors might hold less of a cache than their larger full-frame cousins, but the image quality of Fujifilm's X-Series cameras is proof positive that they can more than deliver the goods, and in a more compact, lightweight body than most full-frame models too. For us, the X-T4 is not only the best X-Series model but the best apps C camera on the market. During our test, we found that this hybrid excels at both stills photography and video, with its flip-out touchscreen, 5-axis IBIS, compelling color science, and ability to shoot 10-bit fork footage at up to 6 diffs, or full HD footage at up to 204 diffs, making it a great tool for both vlogging and serious filmmaking. The autofocus system can track both eyes and faces, too, although its performance varies depending on the lens attached. And Sony's AF setup is superior. Sony Asimov's Roman 3 the most video-focused of all Sony's A-Series cameras, the Sony Asimov's EI's back illuminated full-frame sensor delivers best in-class fork video in low-light situations, with 15 stops of dynamic range and an expandable ISO of 40 to 409,600, not to mention an effective in-body image stabilization system. We discovered in our review that it's able to capture beautiful-looking videos in conditions that would thwart most of its competitors. The sensor's relatively low resolution of 12.1 tus rule out 6 and 8 recording and limits detail for still shooting, but the powerful Beyond's XR processor allows fork footage to be recorded at up to 120 fps for smooth slow motion playback. Full HD can be recorded at up to 240 fps. The full-size HDMI output, class-leading autofocus, support for several picture profiles, including the popular S-Log and ability to record long clips. 30 minutes plus with no overheating issues are all signs of a serious video cameras. Panasonic Lumix S5 Panasonic's smallest and lightest full-frame camera, the Lumix S5 looks more akin to a micro four-thirds model than the beefy Lumix zone with which it shares a sensor. We found that the portability makes it a great option for run and gun filming, provided you stick with smaller, lighter L lenses, and the 5-axis IBIS comes in handy here too. Video users have access to a vast array of options, resolutions, and frame rates, including 410-bit internal recording and vlog with its 14 stops of dynamic range. The fully articulated screen, an option to shoot uncropped fork at third ifs or welcome touches which we appreciated during our time with it. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6 Pro It may not actually fit in your pocket, but Blackmagic Design's Pocket Cinema Camera 6 Pro does put real filmmaking power in a small, lightweight, and relatively affordable package. We found in our review that you shouldn't expect the luxurious quality of life features you'd get with a mirrorless model from one of the big names. There's no IBIS here, the autofocus moves like treacle. Forget about tracking AF and stills capabilities are essentially non-existent. The viewfinder is an optional add-on. That's because everything's been stripped back in favor of pro-quality performance and because the camera is aimed at people who make films and have the necessary gear or know-how to capture steady shots and pull focus properly. Panasonic Lumix GH6 Panasonic's GH6 puts the Micro Four Thirds format back on top for filmmakers and amateur videographers, offering a massive array of color profiles, resolutions, frame rates, and 10-bit video modes, there's an incredible level of creative potential available from the GH6, especially as there are no recording limits even when recording in 5.7k at 6 diffs. Full-frame sensors might perform better in low light, but the more compact Micro Four Thirds setup allows the Panasonic GH6 to be smaller, lighter, and more affordable than its bigger siblings. The smaller sensor can also be stabilized more effectively. We love the thoughtful design, superb handling, and a rugged magnesium alloy frame, all of which means the GH6 shapes up as a compelling option for videographers. Panasonic Lumix Zone The smallest, cheapest camera to be approved by Netflix for its original productions, the Zone is a hugely powerful full-frame model designed for demanding creators. 
While it can match the Sony Asimov's Roman 3 for frame rate, it can record at 6 resolution at 24 fps, as well as 4 cut up to 6 fps, giving it the edge when it comes to sheer detail. In Panasonic's V-Log or V-Gamma picture profiles, the Sony delivers 14 stops of dynamic range, while its all-eye mode results in a staggering 400 fps bitrate. Our tests show that the dual-native ISO and large sensor size makes low-light shooting a breeze, although the Sony Asavin's Roman 3 maintains an edge here. There's superb in-body image stabilization to help out when shooting handheld, but do be aware that the Sony is larger and heavier than many of its contemporaries, so long handheld sessions aren't advised. Autofocus is a mixed bag. In good lighting the depth from the focus, the FD system works well, but in dimmer conditions it feels a little slow. Still, if you can live with its minor quirks, the Sony is capable of producing stunningly sharp and detail-rich footage. While the very best, cutting-edge video cameras will inevitably cost a lot of money. You don't need to blow thousands on something to shoot excellent footage. There are plenty of affordable camera models available, which allow you to record sharp, stable video in a range of scenarios.